everyone. Happy Monday to you. This is Mary Berger with Computer Diva, and today I am coming to you from my office. Um, so today Apple had an event, a media event, and they announced a lot of things, and I thought I'd do a quick video to kind of brief you on what's going on. So the first thing they announced was a partnership with HBO, and the partnership, uh, the product is going to be called HBO Now, and basically it allows you to um, get a monthly subscription to HBO, through Apple TV without having to use a cable contract or a satellite dish contract. So the really cool thing about this is it's going to be one of the first steps in allowing us to kind of disconnect ourselves from the Comcast, the CenturyLinks, the DirecTVs, um, all of those people in the world. We'll be able to disconnect from them shortly. Um, so if, if you want that, they're releasing this product in this partnership in April. It's going to cost you $14.99 a month to subscribe and the first month is free. Um, the other thing they announced was the pricing for the Apple TV. Traditionally it's been $99. That price is now dropping to $69. Um, Apple is trying their best to get you into an Apple TV and get those HBO subscriptions going. So the next thing they're announcing is the research kit. It's a framework of software specifically made for medical research. Um, it will basically allow the, the masses to participate in specific med medical research using their iPhones and their iPads. Um, the five apps that will come bundled with medical research will be um, apps for Parkinson's disease, glucose, cardiovascular disease, asthma, and breast cancer. They really didn't say a whole lot about this, um, but it sounds intriguing and I think it could be kind of interesting. So we'll just have to keep an eye on this and see how it plays out. Um, the next thing they announced was a new MacBook. Um, if you know anything about Apple and their MacBooks, you know that back in, I believe it was 2011, Apple discontinued the MacBook. They had their MacBook Air line of laptops and the MacBook Pro, and they dropped the MacBook altogether. Of course, right after I bought one. So uh, they are now announcing a new MacBook. Um, I'm gonna read the specs here. It comes in space gray, gold, or silver, which is very similar to your iPhones and your iPads. It's 24% thinner than any previous MacBook and weighs in at only two pounds has a 12 inch display and an all day battery life. Starting price for these are $1,299. Um, it has a 1.1 gigahertz dual core Intel M processor, Intel HD graphics, eight gigs of memory and a 256 solid state drive. Um, this will ship on April 10th if you want to order one. If you want a slightly faster processor and double the storage on the SSD drive, you can get them for $15.99. Oh, and did I mention they also have the Retina display, which is really, really cool. So the next thing they talked about was the Apple Watch. We all knew it was coming. They announced that last fall, I think September to be exact and they are now announcing the different brands or flavors of the Apple Watch, the pricing, and the release date. So they have three different flavors. Um, first off, there's the Apple Watch Sport. Um, it's manufactured in aluminum and comes with various different types of bands. That starts at $349 for a 38 millimeter watch and $399 for the 42 millimeter watch. Their next line is the Apple Watch Collection, which is manufactured in steel and is basically the same exact thing as the Apple Watch Sport, but the materials are a little bit stronger. It's steel as opposed to aluminum. And they start at $549 or $599, depending on the thickness. And you also have a large um, variety of bands that you can order with these that will bring the price up to either $1,049 or $1,099. Um, so a lot of choices there. Um, and then they announced the Apple Watch Edition, which is 18 karat gold, um, 18 karat solid gold, and starts at $10,000. I think I'll order five or six and give some to my favorite clients. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so anyway, those are available on April 24th with previews and pre-orders starting on April 10th. 
Um, oh, and also um, iOS 8.2 is now available for download onto your iPhones and iPads. If you have an iPhone 4S or older, I would recommend not loading iOS 8. Um, if you have the iPhone 5, 5S, 6, or 6 Plus, iOS 8 is perfectly acceptable to load on those. And the reason I say this is I have an iPhone 4S that I recently stopped using. I put iOS 8 on it and it runs really slow. So right now it's being used as a glorified iPod, um, so to speak. So, so there you have it. That's the scoop from Apple today. And if you have any questions, you know where to reach me, mary at computerdiva.biz. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.